I was nine years old when the first Star Wars came out. Saw it again and again, and in all its re-releases. And I was already a huge Boba Fett fan before Empire Strikes Back even came out. So Boba was a star before the film ever premiered, and it had us kids just so excited to see the movie and to see him in it. And anything called a bounty hunter back then was just cool. And the fact that you couldn't see his face shrouded him in mystery. You know, it was a flip side to Han Solo. He had a jetpack, cool ship, really cool name. I just remember that time period very well of just the mystery of him. And he was just always my favorite character. I feel real honored to bring back this character and become the son of Django. Especially Tem, who plays Boba Fett. When he put on his costume, his posture changed. You see the, <laughs> you see the perspective. <laughs> it's quite a dynamic feeling to be in that armor. He's the kingpin of the galaxy, and you don't want to mess with this guy. I ended up turning a three-page battle scene into a nine-minute battle scene because I was just that excited to be bringing Boba back. Boba has to be different. He can't just seem like another Mando. You know, he has to move differently, feel different, occupy a completely different space. Tamura specifically requested his own gaffy stick. He wanted one that was longer, and the other one was more slender. If you look at the other ones from the earlier films, it's much more, uh, the shaft is just thicker and wider. It didn't lend itself to the choreography that he wanted for his fight, so we wanted to make sure we had something specific that he could have the action. The action's pretty brutal. He's really gonna go after some stormtroopers, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> My approach was to pretend that this is the only other time or episode we'll even see Boba Fett and it needs to satisfy. I don't want to take for granted that he'll show up again later in other episodes. He needs to be all things right here, right now. That's what Boba Fett is all about. As the ship takes off and it rotates into its flying condition, that part of the ship stays level. This is like, we look through here with pictures, crack for crack, a recreation, recreation of the uh, of Java's power. The inside bit before tuna costume is, is Matt Wood. You played him. I did, yeah, for uh, Phantom Menace in the prequels. You were born to do this. Yes, That's right. Yeah, I know George had me do it in 97. I never thought I'd do it again. It's great. Another cool thing is this staff. This, staff. this is something that was not in the films, but actually was. Can you talk about the backstory? Of the... Well, yeah, it was definitely, a, yeah, as a kid, I even had a good looking action figure, you know, that Michael Carter played. And, and to have this staff was part of the action figure that was never seen in the movies. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the Force be with you.